gonna fall asleep during dumbbell rows and that's what I So it's Monday morning of week four and I am absolutely exhausted. I'm banging Gemma to go home. She's like, let's take a rest day, let's go home. She's like, no, you're already here. She's like, no. Oh, tired. So Lisa just turned up to go for a walk. And we are going for a walk. But she brought these. <laughs> Why are you cruel to me? But anyway, I want to take a nap, but she's making me go walking. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Gee. You're in it. You're always in it. Is it on? Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's recording and everything. Lisa and I decided for a walk. I wanted to chill. Actually, no, I was looking forward to a walk, to be honest. I just felt a bit lazy. But today's my rest day, so we're getting the two bridges done. Should get about a good 7,000 steps in that. Three bridges. Three bridges, let's get this done! And then we'll get back and cheese after. Oh, wait. Mac and cheese? <laughs> no. I love mac and cheese. Turns out Rain Max are really warm. So I'm wearing mine from my waist. Like a big twat. And I'm trying to get Lisa to be a twat with me. But she won't be a twat! <laughs> be a twat with me! <laughs> So this is our torture of choice. Known to most of you as the foil bridge. I'm quite scared actually. I've never walked over this before. I hope we don't get blown off. <laughs> Lisa's being a trot with me. Woo! Yay, trots together. <laughs> Look at my top. I accidentally put bleach on it. Oh, it actually just a design. <laughs> That's what Shannon <Jenna's> said. <laughs> it's not, it's just still, but it's really soft. It's really it's healthy. Healthy. So Lisa and I decided we'd get dinner out in our walk and we're all going to be healthy. Then because my last week in Dara, we decided we'd get uh, Bentley for those sides. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> it's so bad. Why? It is Thursday of week four. I cannot stop thinking about Mega Minis, which as you know are pickle onion crisps. They are amazing, but I've only had, I've had one packet today. They're really good for calories, macros are on the screen, but um, I can't have more than one packet, even though I want to. So I got pickle onions, because I figure pickle onion crisps, pickle onions, same thing. These are gonna be better, surely, some way. It is Thursday dinner time and I am going to have one of my jam meals. Jam Health Meals very kindly supplied my dinners and lunches for the week. So I went for the package that was two meals for five days. And so this is today's select. So they come in batches of four. So you get them on the Sunday night and then the Tuesday night and then the Thursday, which I think means I have to go pick up some shit maybe today and um, or Friday. And so we have the turkey burger with sweet potato fries and broccoli. This Caesar dressing is amazing. And the steak burger with sweet potato fries and mixed salad. I am absolutely obsessed with sweet potato fries. I love them. Not in general, but these ones, yes. And then I have the Cajun salmon with brown rice and stir fry veg. I already had chili con carne for dinner. I'm gonna go with some of the burgers. Focus, there we go. Because I don't want to have to eat two burgers tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Steak burger. So here's the burger and sweet potato fries. As you can see, it's actually two lean steak burgers. So these are amazing and sweet potato fries. And then I'm just taking the salad out because obviously I don't want that hated. Ooh, rogue sweet potato fry. And I'm just gonna bang these into a preheated oven for about 10 minutes. Is that our last pre work gym session together? That's our last gym session. Our last gym session. No. Before work. Pre work. Before pre work. We're still coming tomorrow, apparently. Fun times! Good morning, everybody! It is Saturday, and whoa, I could definitely use some makeup of some sort. Look how freckly I am! This is nuts. We're united with this one, this is Kira Taylor from Dale Bar in Belfast. And we're just getting some unicorn nails done here, and I'm yeah. so excited. I haven't had a product on for ages. I used to wear them every day, and Kira's the best. Best ever! Oh! 
Oh god, look how happy I am. Sweet Jesus. Really? This is vlog inception. <laughs> yep, vlog, 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 ah! vlog I'm vlogging you, vlogging me. <laughs> I'm vlogging. Yeah, I'm so sad to see you go. Where are we? Oh, why am I so much later? It's just my face. <laughs> why? I look, I look like I've been crying for ages. It's supposed to spit in your name part. This is not actually crying. It's not emotional yet, but it's a hay fever. Look, we've got going on here at the minute. I'm kind of flatter in your camera than I do mine. That's mental angles. Fucking hell. I just look like shit. And then we look look really yellow with this one. Skishy! <laughs> right. So I haven't been to the gym this week because I moved house and I was just taking a wee bit of me time and chilling. So then, um, what am I doing? So I'm going to go to the gym and I'll be back tomorrow. Food prep. Probably won't be done when I get home. But we'll see. Um, we got good. Excellent and squeeze it. I'm just here at Synergy by Kevin Harkin with Rory Hardman. Can I pronounce that right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's new to Derry, so he's giving me a wee workout today, taking me through my faces. So obviously I've finished my warm up and my face is covered in sweat, so what's new? But I uh, kind of feel like I'm cheating on men, but it's fine. They know each other, their bodies. It's all right. <laughs> ben, you're still number one. Breathe in and breathe out. Forget that then. Hi everyone, it's Saturday morning and I am here at the Coinside Dress for Success event with all these fabulous ladies. This is Melissa Riddell from Kun FM, Stasi Yazzie, Big F for the sequence in the rabbit, always there. So we're just um, at, a point, uh, at this event. I'm going to be picking out for some different stores and then speaking about them on stage and kind of just you know all about girl boss vibes and let's do this and like body confidence and being the best you and all that stuff so looking forward to it stay tuned to instagram stories up and it'll be vlogged and everything don't know why i'm telling you stay tuned to instagram stories when this will go up in like a week that's kind of pointless but yeah give all these girls a follow they're fab so we're just doing the not the food fab but the that was favorite we're doing the Okay, what is it? Dress for success. Oh, Jesus. We're just picking our outfits for the Dress for Success event at Whiteside. I'm here with Naomi for the big outfit. Hi. Just trying to hide. <laughs> and you can run, but you can't hide, girl. Um, and I've just make, made myself like a mini capsule wardrobe, all of which I really, really want, but can't afford, obviously. It's been good. Ooh, yellow suit. I did just buy one of those from Topshop. It doesn't fit yet, but it will. You know what really, real love is? When you're starving after training, and the big F word gives you half a sandwich. Cheers, cheers. And they have picked out our some pieces from is it River Island and Dunce? Yeah. River Island and Dunce today. Today is all about dressing for success, dressing for work environments, interview environments. And Nicole, we're going to start with you. You're at River Island. What have you chosen today, and why? Um, well, kind of. I think whenever you're doing some job interviews, you're never just going to do one. Are you you're usually doing a couple? So I think you need to kind of have like a wee mini capsule interview wardrobe and obviously the first thing I saw when I walked into River Island was this amazing white suit. You cannot go, you cannot wrong, go wrong with a suit. suit. But also I think it's really hard to get a nice white one and I just seen this and I was like and yeah. And whites that match. I have a suit and my blazer doesn't match my trousers. It's so annoying. This oh I know. gorgeous. But I just thought this was amazing because I really love the sailor kind of detail as well and I thought the skirt would be a wee bit different. But then again I was thinking right you could wear this with a shirt and be really kind of proper or you could dress it down with a kind of wee t-shirt underneath it. Very, very cool. I really like that. And the pop of colour like, yeah. really takes away from it being all white. Exactly. I think if you had a pair of like orange or lemon shoes, it would be really, really funky with that. And kind of makes you a wee bit memorable. Like you're not going to forget anybody who walks in on that. Art. Definitely not. And all the last thing I picked was just this yellow striped dress. I just thought it was beautiful for summer on a day like today. Like it's just so it's happy. It's stunning. Again, it's the stripes, but it's got your pop of colour, which is bang exactly. on trend. And also your your blog is Diet Starts on Monday. It's yes. all about <laughs> dressing for, <laughs> for different sizes. So. What, what shape would this be good on or every shape? Well, I kind of am very much like, I fought, struggled with ages trying to put myself in sizes that I just wasn't. I was like, no, I'm a size 10, I'm a size 10, and I was not a size 10. I was like, I had to use a crowbar to get into my jeans, do you know what I mean? So I was like, no. But this was, I got this in a size 12, and this would kind of be um, for a shape like myself, kind of a girl who's got like a bit of a chest and hips and stuff, and isn't afraid to show it off, but a small waist. So it's super flattering. It's a really nice length. 
and it's comfortable, which I think is again is key, especially in interview or work environment. Is that a dress or a jumpsuit? I think it's dress. Oh, it's, it's a dress. dress. It's just got a wee split. It's but a dress. Like, it's nice and demure. You're not going to have too much on show. If exactly. You're, if you don't like your arms, nice yeah. long sleeve. It's not too low cut, so it's work yeah. wear appropriate. But again, like you were saying, if you want to take it from day to night, exactly. Add a hair, hair, and away you, you go. Yeah. So, Danielle. Hi. This is Derry. <laughs> My first ever Frankie Ramsey chicken box, and this is Chris. Sarah lived here for two years, but it's delicious. Look at this one. Oh, you're so beautiful. So beautiful. So, to be honest, since I moved to Port Stewart uh, two weeks ago, I have been in the gym once, which is really annoying. I was about packing and getting stuff done, and I was just in a lazy bitch, to be honest. My diet was a bit all over the joint. I was just kind of, I wasn't food prepping and it just wasn't organized, but done my food prep on Sunday night, diet's back on track. Back to the gym in the morning and I'm gonna start trying to get in some beach walks in the morning as well at about half five because I love getting up that early and whenever you have something this pretty on your doorstep. When you have something this pretty on your doorstep to walk along, it'll be really, really rude not to. Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday of week six in this bikini countdown. Just come to the beach for a walk to get my steps up because they have been seriously lacking since I started driving to work. So I need to start walking and I need to start going to the gym more. We could be doing a lot worse. It is Thursday evening and I am just making, I really want a takeaway, I wanted something really bad and I was all like, I'm gonna make myself homemade chips and then I had a packet of crisps. So now I have to have two baby boy potatoes with all the carbs I have left. It's quite sad. So I got chicken and one chicken breast and two of the Malon's low fat sauce in here. Spinach and tender stem broccoli and of course our Mayfly curry sauce. There's my portion measured out, ready to go. And then this is the spun situation. Two little potatoes. <laughs> 